Hi folks, Mike the Car Guy here with a quick word about review sites. A few times this week, people have asked me why I keep harping on review sites. What's the big deal about review sites? I hate Yelp. All kinds of questions like that and, and statements. And, and I get it. Believe me, I do. There's not a lot of people that love review sites, except consumers that are leaving reviews and reading reviews about companies that they may be interested in doing business with. Whether you like them or you hate them, they're a fact of life. They're not going anywhere. They're huge. They're all over the place. And because those review sites are getting fed 24 hours a day with relevant content and information and pictures about businesses, the search engines are gobbling them up insatiably. They can't get enough of the review sites. So what happens if your company isn't active on social media, there aren't going to be a lot of links directly relating to your company that show up on that first page of a search except the review sites. So if a company, a person types in something relevant to your company, those review sites show up. They're going to click them, whether you like it or not, whether you agree with it or not, whether you want them to or not. There's a couple ways you can avoid that. One of them is by having a strong social media presence, but that's a whole different video. Since we know the customer is going to click through and talk, or at least look at your review sites and scan them and surf them and see what's being said, they need to be updated. The customer that is considering doing business with you needs to see that not only are you gracious enough to take a moment out of your day to thank customers that have left a positive review, but you're also concerned enough as a company to address challenges that come up. You're not going to fix every single one, and the chances of you fixing one and a customer going back online and fixing the review are slim. It does happen, so that's one of the reasons it's worth doing, but the far and away bigger reason is to make sure that potential customers that are thinking about coming to your business look at those reviews and say, hey, this company acknowledged that they may not be perfect, they're willing to work things out, and they appreciate that situation being brought to their attention so that they can at least address it and try to get better in the future. So review sites are a huge, hugely important part of your social presence. Whether you like them or not, get in there, clean them up, Look at it as spring cleaning. Right now, spring cleaning is right around the corner, so now is the best time to get in there and clean them up. Make sure your information, your contact, your phone number, your website, all that information is current. Make sure all the reviews, all the reviews have a response that's personal, not a copy and pasted, same generic, thank you for your response. We appreciate you taking time out of your day to review us. That, that doesn't work. Make sure it says something about the individual situation. I got a lot more coming. Just wanted to get that out there on tape so that uh, hopefully somebody could take advantage, get in there, clean up their business profile, and get some, uh, some sales from it. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. Mike the Car Guy.